all right guys welcome to this video i'm super excited to share this video just because uh, i wanted to help you install wordpress inside a different directory of your current domain so let's suppose what i'm trying to say is let's suppose you have a website like dsm.in all right let's suppose this is a website which is created on wordpress and you have installed wordpress on this particular domain and now what you want is you want a separate wordpress installed on maybe a directory called blog on the same domain so you want a separate wordpress installed on dsm.in slash blog so how to do that how to create this kind of directory and have a separate wordpress installation for same domain all right so we will be doing that practically right now all right so guys i want you to be logged in inside your cPanel of your hosting account. So let's take an example. I would be installing WordPress on a new directory for this particular domain. I will take example for this domain that is the best bargain.in. Alright. So let me just log into my cPanel and using HostGator as a hosting account for this example. So I'll be giving live demonstration using this HostGator hosting account. Alright. So whatever hosting you are using, just go inside your cPanel and search for WordPress. Once you are there, click on it. And then it would be like a couple of steps more. So you need to click on install. And once you are here, don't change anything except one thing. That is this one. This in directory. All right. Previously, when you might have installed your WordPress on, let's say, xyz.com or for my case, it would be the best bargain.in. What I might have done is, I might have erased everything over here and I might have kept it empty. Why? Because I wanted my WordPress to be installed on this particular domain only. I didn't want any directory. So right now, my WordPress is installed in the best bargain.in. But now, for the second WordPress installation, what I want is, I want a directory. Let's suppose I want a directory named blogging. So now I want to install my WordPress in something like the best bargain.in slash blogging. All right. So let me open up a notepad and show it to you. All right. So previously what has happened is I had this domain, the best bargain.in. So right now I have my WordPress installed in this particular domain but now what i want is i want to install my wordpress and the best bargain dot in slash blogging all right so now we would be installing our wordpress in this one okay so let's do it so i'm creating one directory named blogging so whatever you want if you want blog just write in blog for this example, I'm taking blogging because I already have WordPress installed in a directory named blog. All right. So it won't allow me to create duplicate directory. So I'm writing blogging for the example. Then come right down where it says site setting. You can change the title. Let's suppose the best bargain blog or let's say blog. The best bargain blogging. I'll put in some site description. This is the blog for the best bargain. And without changing anything else, and, and if you want to change this admin email, you can change it to your email address. You can change it accordingly. And make sure you don't click install right now. Don't click install. Make sure you follow this last step. That is email installation details to just enter your email address over here. Enter your email address over here. And once you are done, so what this means is basically, guys, email installation details is this account will send you email regarding all the details like your new WordPress username, your password, your account information, everything to this particular email address. All right. So just make sure you enter your email address over here and then click install. So it will give you a note that this may take 3 to 4 minutes. Please do not leave this page until the progress bar reaches 100%.
and there it goes. It never takes three to four minutes. It hardly takes one minute. All right. So now it says, congratulations. The software was installed successfully. WordPress has been successfully installed at so and so. And to access your WordPress, you have to, I mean, to access your WordPress panel for this new directory, you will have to go to the westbargain.in slash login slash WP hyphen admin. All right. So this is the link and you should get an email as well. Let's check if we have got any email. You should get a welcome email as well, guys. So see, you will get an email from Softaculous if you are using HostGator. So you will have something like this. You will get an email like this. All right. So you will have everything, your username, your password, your email, everything. So this is how you install your WordPress. All right. So just enter your username, password, and that's it. So now what will happen is you will have two WordPress accounts. So you will have two WordPress username ID. So the first is if you want the best bargain dot in WordPress keypad, I mean the WordPress dashboard, then you will write something like this: the best bargain dot in slash wp hyphen admin, and you press enter, and that will open up the WordPress for this particular website. And now let's suppose you want to open up the new WordPress which you have installed on the directory name blogging, then what you need to do is you have to go to the best bargain dot in slash blogging slash WP admin. And if you hit enter, all right, uh, there's some error. sensitive guys directories are case sensitive so make sure you type in the exact directory along with the case sensitiveness all right so this is it the best bargain dot in slash blogging slash wp admin let's write it down once again the best bargain dot in slash blogging that is your directory which you have wordpress installed on and wp hyphen admin and there you go. So just log in and enjoy your WordPress. Hope this video helps you guys. And if you have uh, enjoyed this video, then uh, do follow us and do like this video. Give us a thumbs up and stay awesome. Cheers. Bye-bye.